Alright, so this is the video you have been waiting for. Since Bird Journey has stopped giving out free trials and you have been looking for a free alternative, well worry no more as Ideograph is here and is better than ever before and is completely free to use. So simply head over to the ideogram.ai website and create an account. You can sign up with Google. Since I already do have an account, I'm gonna log in. And here we are on the homepage and this is where you will see art created by other people and in there you can write your prompt and describe what you would like to create. So without much ado, let's try creating an artwork of our own and we're gonna go with something Disney style first of all. So I'm gonna write Disney style girl with text happy winter and you can also select sort of tags here which describe what kind of art this will be. I want to keep that as a poster and photo. We can also add typography and cinematic. And here we have some options for the aspect ratio. Currently they only have three, 10 ratio 16, one by one, and 16 ratio 10. For now we're gonna choose the one ratio one which is by default and click on the generate button. One thing to note here is that once your artwork is being generated, you can only wait for it to finish before you can generate another one. But you can also write your prompt and get it ready for other artwork, meanwhile your other one is being generated. So we're also going to write something else in the meantime and for that we're going to go with and this time we're going to generate a nice panda image. I want to keep that as a photo as well and poster, typography and I'm going to click on the generate button. Also by the way if you click generate for a new art your other one will disappear from this page but don't worry you can come to your profile by tapping on the profile avatar here and there you can see your previously generated artworks. And here we have our Disney style girl with text, happy winter. And as you can see, we have four variations for this. You can check them all out. And they all look sort of good. This one looks the best in my opinion with the girl holding the poster in her hand, which says happy winter. It is spelled correctly, most importantly, and the font is really good as well. I think this looks very pretty. And this one is done well as well, as they all have the winter theme in common with snowfall and as the girl seems to be dressed up well for the winter with that coat and here she is wearing a lot of clothes as well. And here you see this remix button. So basically what this does, if you tap on that, it will take this picture as the reference image and you can generate more and also describe the prompt. You can even keep it as it is and we're gonna do that and try generating this artwork. So basically what we will get, we will have images which are very similar to our reference image and on top of that we have the same prompt and then it will give us more results. So if we go back to our profile we can also have a look at the panda image which we have created and here we have some variations for the panda. I think this one looks nice and this one also looks kind of unique. It's like more of a wanted poster. Let us know down in comments what you think. Maybe this panda is lost and someone is looking for it. If you do find it do call 911 and let them know where you saw daddy panda. And here we have a cool looking cyberpunk style panda with glasses and it's like sort of a wall team or wall cover. All in all I think they all look amazing and if we go back we have our another image which we did remix on and they all look amazing as well. Like if we have a look here the happy winter text is bigger and better than before. She's still holding it in her hands so the theme has not completely changed even though we have gotten completely different images with different girls and backgrounds and themes like that. I think this one looks very pretty, even though the text is not the best, it could have been better, but in other images the text is good. But there is a minor problem with these pictures and that is the quality. If we save that you will come to see it is only like a few hundred pixels or maybe a thousand pixels. If I open the properties for that, you can clearly tell it's a thousand by thousand pixels and that is not the best quality especially when we are doing this for the poster art. So for that we're gonna go to this website clipdrop.co and this will be used to remove the background for any image. So if we select our image and click on the remove background button, you might need to sign up. So I'm gonna continue with Google and here our background has been removed. You can also edit the picture further if you would like but we're simply gonna download that because it looks perfect and the background is clearly removed from here. I'm gonna save that and then I'm gonna open this website vectorizer.ai where we can turn our image into a vector file. So if we drag in our transparent image which we have just removed the background on and wait for it to finish uploading and processing 
it might take a little bit as it is gonna convert it into a vector format and here we have our image turned into a vector if we zoom in we can clearly see there is no quality loss as compared to the original image and you can upscale it to any resolution you would like since this is the vector and you can also download it and save it on your computer you can keep these settings as they are and for the settings just change this option to the second one and then you're good to go simply download that save it on your computer and then you can open the vector on your editing software I use Adobe Illustrator so I'm gonna use that and here you can edit all sorts of things you can drag around the text you can change the colors like if I select this portion I can change the color of that since this has been completely changed into a vector format we have access to all the layers in the image and we can make it better we could do the same thing for this panda image if we wanted or this one and if we come back here we can also see artwork generated by other people if you like something here and you want to make it better you can also do so for example we like this theme and we can just save that in our computer and again if we come back to clipdrop.co we can upload the image and remove the background then save our image and last but not least simply come back to vectorizer.ai and then we can convert our image into a vector format and once again we have a perfect vector of our image if we zoom in again we can see that there is no quality loss as compared to the original art on the left side and then we can download this and change anything we would like save it in a better or higher resolution so yeah that was it for today's video i hope you found this helpful do leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching